This is the USB GeForce GTX with 64 gigs of RAM. It is a performance booster and it is small. Just how small, I'm gonna let Miku show you. Look at her shocked face. This is how small it is. It's just like a USB drive. How it works is that you connect this USB drive to a system with a GeForce GTX GPU and you'll get performance boost. And the performance boost depends on which USB port you connect to, whether it's 2.0, 3 or 3.1. And now this is the benchmark result that I get after running it across uh, various USB port, pairing it with my GTX 1080. If you're running on SLI configuration, then you need two of these USB drives, one for each card. So for a quad SLI setup, you need four and your USB port must be the same. If the first one uses USB 3.1, the rest has to be on 3.1. It will downclock to the lowest common denominator. If the lowest is on USB 2.0, all of them will run at USB 2.0. The USB GeForce GTX graphics card boosts mining performance as well. Whether it's Ethereum or Zcash, I saw 20% performance boost on my GTX 1080. As for the power draw and heat generation, it draws barely 10 watts and does not generate any heat. And just how much is this USB GeForce GTX graphics card? It's only RM399 and that's a stunning offer from Nvidia. Ha, I'm sure you guys got it by now. This is nothing but just a USB drive. And for those of you who are interested in the actual performance, here is the benchmark I run on a, a crystal disk mark using a USB 3.1 port. Alright, so that's it for this video and I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.